I mean, I don't really care that some of those didn't like them because they're both my companion. She's my lover. I'm still the leader, and the public is now supportive. <clears throat> Probably because the the police just gunned down a bunch of peaceful protesters as they left. <clears throat> as they were retreating, shot them in the back. I don't know, man. I, I get a feeling that the the public is immediately on my side. Like, immediately on my side. <clears throat> ah. I just don't know, man. I'm trying to be pacifist for real. I'm like genuinely trying to be a pacifist. And and I, I thought that if I dispersed, they would just let us go. And I didn't think they would shoot us in the fucking back. After what happened today, <clears throat> the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Yeah, so what's the Humans deal with that? So no what is, is she? Destroy them. she? She must be a computer program. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Oh shit. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. <clears throat> yeah, she, she's a computer program in his head or something. Yeah. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. We, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <laughs> that was so... That was the most human thing ever. He's like, Alright, I'll just go. You don't want to talk to me. <laughs> you don't want to talk to me. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the deviants rise up... No shit! That's not what I meant! There will be chaos. That's not what I meant. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm 
not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. Oh my god, I love I it. It's so good. So I, find a lead in the evidence we collected. I, I swear, I, the <clears throat> I, I forget that I'm Listen, playing a game Connor, sometimes. I don't I'm just like watching case, a movie. Cyber life will destroy me. An awesome movie. Five minutes. That's like 12 That's hours long. Ask. And sometimes I play the characters? Key to the basement is on my desk. I fucking love you, Hank. Well, get him Thanks, Dad. I, I mean, uh, Lieutenant. Thanks, th uh, Lieutenant. Not Dad. <laughs> Thanks, not Dad. This is the funny. Stop it! This is punching the shit out of him. <clears throat> Oh, oh, dude, hey, abs Connor. absolutely. I'm talking to you, asshole. <clears throat> Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Fuck you, I do that. Now you make me feel like a fucking scumbag. I also do the wink and tongue click. God damn it. Hey, what's up, or no? I, I'm, I 100% agree. There, I, I can't think of another game where I, I, I've started crying. <laughs> Just because... I, again, I forget I'm playing and you, I'm watching like a 10 minute scene that's way too good for, for any game. Hank's password. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking password. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. <clears throat> Is Jericho? Oh right, right, right. The answer's here somewhere. <clears throat> God damn it, the girl is killing me. How much? The android that murdered its owner. <clears throat> the oh right, he was shot in the face. One of the agents <clears throat> that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. First time I got all f <clears throat> got all fucked up. Hey, I need that bio component, baby. Jericho. I don't 
don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Fuck. Um, try to trick him. Oh, right, 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 right. You. <clears throat> We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. <laughs> Wizard in black. <laughs> this message is I mean, the hope wrong. of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. No, 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 that, I'm done, I'm done. That's it, that's all we need. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. <clears throat> I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! Wait, I... I... <clears throat> oh, oh, good, good, good. We totally got out of there in time. That, that's what happened. <clears throat> and now see that that didn't happen the last time I played <laughs> the last time I played I had to incapacitate Gavin <laughs> cause um I I was like I um I wasn't calm with him <clears throat> when, when, I, when I saw him last time I was like ironic with him where I was like, you know, I'm gonna miss these little chats of ours. And then he comes back and like tries to fight me. But I think because I was calm. Um Oh my god, right. And also I died in the previous scene. And I, yeah, I was killed in public enemy, so I oh my god. Interesting. Oh no, Gavin definitely deserves a a, a punch in the nose. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna 
gonna be all right. We're almost there. I mean, that was some elevated music with some soul. <clears throat> Grabs her, pulls her in. That would happen a lot, I bet. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. They did not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Oh shit, yeah. Oh my god, the 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 best version of Connor right here. This is the absolute best version of Connor. He looks so cool. Wow, he's so cool. I, oh my god, I love this. This is... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. Oh man, that, that guy in the news was saying, I know they're machines, but they look like, seeing? and I'm pretty sure he was about to say people. And cold at the same time. Like they, they look like people. <laughs> like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird to see it happen in your, you know, in your front yard. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Man, Kara, you're killing me here. <clears throat> how are you so naive about this? <clears throat> yeah, how are you so naive?
You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. The fuck? have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your You're android. Kill the Under no circumstances what? should you try to destroy you your android you yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, like people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of... You see, you see, I, I, I think we're doing it right. I think we're doing it right. I think we're trying to get the, the public to be like, holy shit. I'm with a little girl, and I'm android. <clears throat> There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. That was a quick change of heart. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Question her mother tendencies. You kidding me? She's a natural born mother. She straight up shot a guy. Well, you you need Marcus and Connor to meet. That's that's the big thing. Yep, in the very beginning, <clears throat> you, you don't really get to see it, but if for like a brief moment, you get a glimpse. Like a half second, yeah, a glimpse. Like two frames. You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. <clears throat> You've never really, you've never seen her eat. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Of course not. <laughs> Come on, man. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Uh, oh my, I could cry. I, I could just cry. David Cage, you've done it again, you son of a bitch. Stupid onion ninjas. Who's cutting all these onions? Stop it, man. Stop. Stop. Kara, is yeah. there something wrong? No. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Until our batteries run out, baby. Forever. 
which have a half-life of 872 years. <laughs> So, here's the thing. She didn't have a fever. She was hot and cold at the same time. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm telling you, man. There's all these little subtle hints that are just, like, telling you. She, she even makes We're a comment about, like, why do they hate us? Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're Me slaughtering Andrew. our people. <clears throat> it's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. No. No. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free? If no one is left alive. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue this is the only way. <laughs> oh my god, this shit again? <laughs> I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. <clears throat> but North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. And see, he was dead last time, so I didn't I even to realize how much they're hurting. I didn't even uh so find the right words and they'll listen. I will, man, don't worry. I'm notoriously great at picking the, the best dialogue. <laughs> don't worry, man. I'm not worried about it. Why would I be worried about it? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Oh god. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. Given us hope. <laughs> is, it, is it hot in here? Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oops. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. You better let me hang on to that crazy. I uh, North. Crazy North, sorry. Full name. Whatever happens tomorrow. I just want you to know that I... I kind of hate you sometimes. I'm glad I met you. Yeah, go for the kiss. Yeah, go ahead, man. You earned it. You've literally been through hell. Get get yours, buddy. Get yours. Get yours, Marcus. Get yours. I'll go join the others. You're a terrible kisser. <clears throat> Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
I feel like... Right. Right, right, right. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. <sighs> Alright, here we go, man. Here we go. Uh. <clears throat> been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found- You finally caught before. one. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. Oh shit. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. And, and you too. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Uh oh. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> What's going on? I never got the passports. Quick, we've got to get out of here. <clears throat> All right, this is this is serious. Holy shit, this is so confusing. There must be an exit. Come in, quick! No! No! Oh god! Oh They're fucking hell, man. Okay, I am leaving. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. 
Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Trust me, the guy controlling me knows what he's doing, right? Right? You do know what you're doing, right? I'm not hyperventilating. I'm not hyperventilating. I'm hyperventilating. Oh, God. No. This is the end of Jericho. No. Save our people, Marcus. Yeah, absolutely. No, we're not leaving him. Help Luther! What are you doing? Come on! You. Tara, no. Come on, goddammit! Oh, I'm mashing that W button as hard as I fucking can. Get inside, 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 get inside. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Close the door, close the door. Don't move! You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What Bro, you family. I manage. Family. Family. Alice is all that matters. Family. Don't no. Leave We're not leaving Luther. Don't worry. We're not leaving Luther. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Shh. Go now. Take care of each other. No. What? No. What? What? Okay. 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 This is happening. Okay. I'm begging you. Uh. <laughs> oh god, I'm so afraid. Aren't stronger than family. <laughs> A rag attack. I'm so glad you get it. Yeah. What? What? What happened?
Okay, yeah, I, I have no idea what happened. <clears throat> I'll join you later. Over there. No idea what happened. You're safe, Alice. Stop. Oh shit! Uh, 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 play that. Don't move. Don't move. Please don't kill me. I have Shit. 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 Please tell me that was the right thing. Please tell me that was the right thing. Come on. Let's get out of here. Huh. <sighs> get him. Space bar, out of nowhere. She's got she's gone for her. leave her. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. No, you're right. <laughs> Bye. Over there! Oh run. shit, I got shot. Bad. No, I fucked it up. I fucked that up too. <sighs> Run quick, come on. Oh fuck me, dude. I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> Gunshots up the ass, man. The, the ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate huh. immediately. It's not over, Marcus. God damn, dude. All right.
Okay, 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 okay. Whoo! <clears throat> No, no, no. So, so Luther is just hiding. I, I'm pretty sure he, he meets up with us at the border. <clears throat> I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but... Everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. Oh shit! Isn't that the sun? Huh. He doesn't say anything to him. Jeez. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. <clears throat> Thanks, brother. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. What's your system status? I'm okay. 
Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. <laughs> Ew. Ew, gross. Girls have cooties. Sweet though. <clears throat> She's just like, um, I love you too. <laughs> Thanks, North. I love you too. Hang on, Connor. I'll be with you in a moment. Got to talk to my other bud. Hey man, we've had some rough times, huh, Bill? Had some rough times. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. My man, come back around. Come back around. Did they just have sex? Oh my god. Thanks, brother. <sighs> Got my boys back. My boys are back. And Simon survived. That's like, oh my god, this is so great. <clears throat> All right, listen, pal. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. You're right, you're a traitor. I was stupid. Taking stupid pills. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Nah, man, you literally took like two bullets. You're one of us now. That's Your like double trust. <clears throat> there are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. Goddamn. Just like watching. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. You're one of my brothers now. <clears throat> it, it, it's so crazy because like you know listen when I'm like watching a movie and stuff I, I'm I'm not gonna be like oh I'm a cinephile and I'm a professional but like I, I tend to look at a lot of stuff and when I'm watching these scenes I, I am, I'm looking all around because it's like the background's so great but <clears throat> if, if you like took the time to like look at their clothes Certain parts of their clothes are just, like, clearly not the best. But, holy crap, man. Everything is just, like, completely blocked on when, like, these actors and actresses are on screen. It's so great, man. 
This game is such a fucking pl a, a treat and a pleasure, all at the same time. A pleasurable treat, if I may. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed <clears throat> in camps right now, being destroyed. That's fucked up. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Pleats, if you will. A pleat. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition oh, to Hillary. these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Madam President! Please? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Please. Please! <clears throat> Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Madam President! Please! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Oh, 
God damn. <clears throat> We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are right at the end. We're on the final, final lap on Rainbow Road right now. Shit's about to get very real. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. done with the press of a W button. Agent 54, level 31. Right. Remember where everything is. Started. Remember where everything is. <laughs> okay, no. Um Imagine if I didn't hit it and he just stayed like this. <laughs> like the whole time he just stayed there and they just like got up and shot me. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Agent 54, level sub 49. <laughs> I gotta try that one time. It just like, just not do anything afterwards. So are people not gonna notice the dead body? You know, never mind. Never mind. It's too late. It's moving too fast. Oh, the shit. last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Yes, I understand. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. All right, honey, come on. <clears throat> Can't I run? Okay, yeah, we're gonna take the gun with this. Come on. Let's not stay here. What are we gonna 
do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night. There are soldiers everywhere. You need to be careful. You're far from Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. We can't you They're going to kill him. You got the gun, remember? You got a gun. Save Luther. Save Luther. Okay, let's go. Hey buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Oh. Fucking android. Find a weapon. I I don't have a gun. Oh, you. Jerry! It's Jerry! Alice! We got, we gotta go! We gotta go! Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were dead! I, I know, this is adorable, but aren't there like people nearby? I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Yes, please, can we go? Please, 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 please. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. How much time do I have? Gotta get rid of this gun though, no? Don't I have a fucking gun? The fuck am I supposed to do? Okay. I don't like humans who carry guns. <clears throat> they make me nervous. Just stay calm, alright, Luther? 
Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. Too slow, deviant. <laughs> you do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? Yeah, it's fucking cold out, man. She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Do nothing. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. See, Luther. See. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. And it's not good. What? God damn it. God damn. Come on. I'm not going to press anything. I'm just going to wait for you to respond. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh, fuck. And now we see the consequence of not closing the blinds. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh man, that's shit, too funny. Oh, that's too funny. Sure. Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm just starting it over. I'm just going to reset it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it saved after that after that checkpoint. Like I, I literally, I like literally checkpoint after the checkpoint scene. Pretty sure, pretty sure. <laughs> Alex, you're so funny. You're so funny. And now we see the consequence of not shutting the blinds. <laughs> I love it. All right, please don't tell me I got to do this shit again. I you're the gay one. Wanting to be with a woman? How gay is that? You win sex against a man, that's as straight as it gets. Fact. Straight fact. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids okay, are good. marching to yeah, the see, city yeah, at this, this very is, moment. This is a checkpoint. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. And it isn't good.
Here we are. The moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed <clears throat> protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Fuck, all right, all right. <clears throat> Stay sharp. Oh, right, cameras. Bad Android. You should have kept that, my guy. Oh, right. It's more your style. Oh. Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Canada border. <clears throat>
We need to get out of here. Security check. Marcus. Please don't move. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. <clears throat> honey? Listen, mommy's gonna do something really bad. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, scared. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... No. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, Come honey. On. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bed. Security check. Got your ticket? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. I, I just I just almost always think that like everyone's just like god damn he's huge. <laughs> he's a fucking huge dude. Holy crap. What's going to happen to that family in their They'll be fine cuz they're humans. They're humans. They of no. What no? God. No. No. God, what no? Honey. No, we just lost our tickets. They cost them like a couple hundred bucks. And, and 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 trust me, Marcus is taking care of it, so we'll be fine. You know what? I hey, you know what? <clears throat> As a couple of androids trying to get out, a couple of humans who aren't going to be per persecuted. I'm not too. I'm not like losing a whole lot of sleep. <laughs> I'm not losing Kyra. I'm not losing sleep, honey. I'm not losing sleep. W. All right, Luther, Kara, Alice, saved. They're out of here. Oh, I'm sure, be Andrew. I'm sure. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. A minor inconvenience. Lost some tickets. Once this all blows over, they'll go see their mom and have sandwiches. But, uh, or, you know, us, who are gonna get shot dead on the spot. Come on, help I, 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 Listen, I'm not really losing sleep over you guys. Hey, help me! So not losing sleep. That should do it. They all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Don't worry, Josh. <clears throat> Don't worry, brother. I'm going to get us all out of here. It's not... 
That's not how it works, but yeah, this way. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Don't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Ew, you guys in public? Come on, man. Yesterday? They want to get you out in the Yeah, they could pop me Don't in the go, dome. Marcus. No. 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 I'm not armed, Marcus. I just want to talk. It's not you, bro. It's the 800 armed soldiers. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. Probably spent too much time lighting that fire. Could have had more conversation. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. 
Now it's time to decide <clears throat> what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you get rid of him we have no time to lose it's me Hank I'm the real Connor one of you is my partner the other is a sack of shit question is who's who what are you doing Hank I'm the real Connor give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of okay that's an immediate giveaway man <laughs> Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. That sounds like a human trying to, like, barter. That's clearly right. Connor. Where did we first meet? <laughs> Jimmy's bar. <clears throat> I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. See, you're like two on the he nose. uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Subo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Uninterrupted. Wake up! <clears throat> wake up, 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 wake up. A literal virus spreading through. A literal virus. 
Wars. Oh shit, we're not done? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Fuck. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit, I still have the gun on me. This way, please. Shit, shit. Um, we have got to get rid of this. They're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Um. <clears throat> Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh! Hey, Liz. Hello. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, my bad. What are you doing with the little girl? Jesus Christ, man. She's got a tinkle. I, do, I got you. I got you. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Don't cry. We'll fi You're going to make me cry. We'll figure it out. the Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Um, um. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. Oh. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. Rose.
They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? I, I did these out of order. Inside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Is this gun gonna give me trouble? Like for real, is this gun gonna give us an I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you. Oh guys. shit. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. Alright, kid. You're, You're alright. Alive. You're alright, kid. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Oh, I just made Mama proud. Just made Mama real proud. <laughs> made her so proud. Oh my god, okay. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Jesus. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade. Oh, despite fuck, that's the right. the fact that the deviants were protesting uh. peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants demonstration by force this time. Fuck. All right, last thing. Last bit. North. Last bit. Here it is.
tell them to stand down. November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. planned from the very beginning. You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! got to be away.
God where we forget our bitterness and bandage Ooh. our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. for crying out, please. It's over, Alice. We're free. No, no, I just, this is like the end end, so I just want it to be uninterrupted. Without my face. Wait for it. Wait for it. Not that. I promise you the best scene is, has yet to come. You just, you just gotta, gotta be patient for the credits.
Now, was I wrong or was I right? Was I wrong or was I right that the best scene had yet to come? <clears throat> and now, now we have the credits. Now we have the credits. <coughs> I, I told you. I just realized I've had a fan blowing on me the entire time. <clears throat> so that, that's why my, I have, like, something in my throat. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Detroit Become Human. <sighs> Just, my god. My god. Ah. <sighs> I had a writer rack attack and I've played a thousand times. Get all the other endings. Uh, a genocide run, maybe next time. Maybe next time we play it. <clears throat> maybe next year when we replay it again. Um, uh, I, I, I think Beandrew nailed it. Yeah, he, he didn't have a kid. He had a wife. The wife left him because he was a drug addict, so he, he got the kid. But just took all of his anger out on it. Oh, I'm like exhausted after that. I'm literally exhausted. All right, quiet. Glenn Murph, have a good one. <clears throat> that is that. That was that. Right, last time I sang. That's right. Also, last time we... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I actually like spoke to other people last time. <laughs> I and I also like did more barricading. Oh no, no, no! I, I didn't do more barricading stuff. But <clears throat> yeah, I actually talked to like other things. Talked to the other androids. I read the magazine. I lit the barrel. Man. That's that. That's that. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, man. That is exactly why. Whew. Oh, man. That, that, you know. <clears throat> when I, uh, when I first played this game, man, nope, we didn't lose anybody. Everyone survived. Literally everyone survived. We even went and, and, and got Simon to, to stay alive after he got left behind at the tower. Like, whew, man. 